Today we will be visiting Scotland's most depressing town. Alloa has been voted as one of the most depressing towns in Scotland. Let's see if this actually holds true. Well hello folks and join us on a trip to the town that is claimed to be Scotland's most depressing town. We've driven all the way from Glasgow to Alloa and we will just explore the town, see if it's really that bad to live here. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Let's check out if what people said about Alloa is actually true. We will have a look at people's comments um, on the survey later. You haven't seen them yet, have you? No. <laughs> They're pretty funny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for that. However, we're now starting off our wee trip with Alwa's probably most famous site, and that is Alwa Tower. We'll just check it out now. While we walk to Alwa Tower, let's chat real quick why Alwa is supposed to be one of Scotland's most depressing towns. iLiveHere.com conducts an annual poll, normally asking for the worst place in the UK, but this year they asked about the most depressing one. Looking at places in Scotland, Aberdeen is on the first place and Alwa is on the second. But we've never been to or heard of Alwa, so that's why we wanted to check out one of Scotland's most depressing towns. Let's go in. Hiya. Hiya. Can I have uh, one ticket, please? Of course. Okay, brilliant. Because it is a very short Oh, <laughs> good to know. Great, thank you. The tower dates back to the 14th century and was built to guard a strategically important ferry crossing on the nearby River Forth. It became the seat of the Eskin family who have played a pivotal role in Scotland's history through the centuries and were loyal supporters of the Stuart monarchs. Mary Queen of Scots and her son James VI both spent their childhoods here under the guardianship of the Eskin family. Just push the door. Great, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so over there, somewhere in the in the distance, is the River Forth. Right, I'm just gonna go down again because I hate heights. I just want to get down again. I can't walk right around the tower, so I'll just have to take the stairs back down the same ones. But there might be a other stairs. Thank you very much. Thanks, you too. So that was Alwa Tower. I'm well impressed, I must admit. Um, I paid five pounds, but um, if you're a member of National Trust um, for Scotland, then, and you become a member afterwards, after you've paid the five pounds, you can get the five pounds refunded. Now, I think Ian and I should do it. I've said that a few videos ago. Uh, 
Mm. Doesn't matter. I think we'll have a look into it because it is worth paying like an annual membership and then getting to visit all those brilliant places for free or for a reduced price. Although Aloha Tower is pretty central in Aloha, we will now find another car park which is maybe a bit more central and then we'll check out the town centre and see if there's anything else here in Aloha that like stands out as the most depressing town and then we'll also have a look at some of the comments that people have written about Aloha. What's your first impression from Aloha? I don't know, I think it looks like there's a lot of money being spent on it. I know! I don't know what It all looks quite... It's quite nice, eh? Modern. Yeah, you've got some nice historic looking buildings. Exactly. We really have not dr driven far. It's absolutely ridiculous because if you walk down there, it's a two minute walk to Aloha Tower. Oh, so it's down there? Yeah, it's literally just down there. Oh my God. So looking at the poll results, right? Um, Aloha is not the most depressing place in the UK. It's only one of the top ones in Scotland. So Aberdeen for looking at Scottish towns and cities, Aberdeen is actually on place one, but um, Aloha came second, and Aloha is on has been well has been listed um, for two consecutive years as the most depressing town. Now, looking at what people have said about Aloha, so one person said, "Oh my goodness, I have never been in such a hellhole." <laughs> I was stood at the bright green bus station in Aloha a few weeks back and I could play spot the junkie. The, there were women uh, walking about with their hair so slicked back you could see lumps on the heat. That's a bit cruel. That sounds like Glasgow. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, and boy racers kicking about during the day which just shows they don't have a job. I don't think that comment's fair with the boy racers because they could be doing night shift. I don't also think that it was very uh, nice about uh, what they said about the females. <gasps> it gets worse. Right. So it's their words, don't shoot the messenger, okay? So, and every female aged eight to 25 had a pram slash buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Or a kid round their waist. And then it gets worse. This place should be bombed and started all over again. Wow, that's pretty. That, that's bad. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. bad. I'd like to see where that person lives. I know, exactly. Because to be honest, I don't think it's that bad. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I must admit, there are quite a few like hmm? empty buildings. I think it's quite nice, huh? It's lovely. Yeah. Honestly, it's really nice with the wee benches and the, the lovely cafes as well that we've just walked by. I don't know what everyone is on about. But then we also don't live here. Yeah. And let's be honest, it's just a poll. We don't know how many um, people actually completed the survey. So that may, might, you know, it could have been like 10 people who said that. Yeah. The weather spoons. Where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weather spoon. It's not oh. weather spoons. Because now some places are called weather spoons, some places are called weather spoons. That's an interesting fact of the day for you guys. Yeah, exactly. Let me so know if you're interested. Whenever you're going in into like a weather spoon, you can see if it's called a weather spoons or a weather spoon. <laughs> Oh, this must be the green bus stop, yeah, yeah, that the person 
who replied to the poll <laughs> was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> As we leave the town centre, we have to like conclude. Do you think Ian Alwa is Scotland's most depressing town? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Absolutely. I think not. I think there's far more depressing places yep. in Scotland. And I think to be honest, I think it's actually one of the nicer ones. Yeah. One yeah, it's very clean. Yes, there are a few um, empty buildings, but I I think every town or city has that. Yeah. So yeah, let me know what you think. And as we've now seen quite a bit of Alwa, thanks so much for joining us on our wee trip and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.